Hey, how's it going? Mark Lender, your friendly broker here at the 1-8 Real Estate Group. I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about the market. You know, we've reached the end of 2019 and we're into 2020 now. And, you know, um, Happy New Year to all you guys. But real quick, what I wanted to talk to you about is if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate this year, these numbers are going to be pretty pivotal for you to uh, think about. Now, first and foremost, we're going to talk about four different major counties here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're going to talk about Denton County, Collin County, Tarrant County, and Dallas County. And as we look at these four counties, we're going to be comparing last year versus this year and kind of just look at 2019 at a glance here. And we're going to look at seven key metrics, sales price, days on market, percentage of list price to sale price, month supply, number of homes for sale, new listings, and my favorite and everybody else's favorite, how many of them things actually closed. So let's get right into it. As we look at Denton, what you're going to see is a 1.1 appreciation rate. It means the properties went up 1.1%. Collin County, 1.8%. Tarrant 5.2 and Dallas 3.1. Now, what does this mean? This means that you're living in a market where the property values are still going up. Now, given it's not you know 10 or 15 percent like we saw a year or two ago or whatever it was, more like two or three, when we had a massive rush of people and corporations moving out into the Dallas area, builders were building like crazy, and it, they had a hard time keeping up with the demand. And so now we have a situation where that has slowed down, but we still have a lot of sellers that are selling and a lot of builders that are building. And this is going to be evidenced by the next, you know, five or six uh, metrics that we go over. And the next one being the days on market. If you look at this right here, the days on market in Denton, it's up 36.4%. In Collin County, it's up 40%. Tarrant County, up 35.7%. And in Dallas, up 43.8%. And what does that mean? It just means that properties are taking longer to sell because buyers have more choices right out there right now, guys. And then also, as we look in the next metric, percentage of list price to sale price, what you're seeing is a market correction, okay? What this means is if I list my property for $300,000, am I going to get that three hundred? dollars How close to what I'm asking am I going to get from a buyer? In other words, how much are buyers going to be talking me down? And that's what this percentage of list price to sale price means in a sense. Also, there could be some people out there, real estate professionals, that are overpricing the homes as well as sellers that are overpricing homes. And they're having to correct to the market because they're going based off what we all go off of, which is past history. And as we've seen a slowdown happen over the last year or two, we're all having to adjust mentally in what we should expect and what the market is telling us. And so that's what this is. Percentage of list price to sell price in Denton County went down a half a percent, went down 0.7% in Collin County, and went down another half a percent in Tarrant, and 0.8% in Dallas. So that just means it's just a little correction taking place. It doesn't mean we're living in a bad market or it's a bad time to sell. It just means we're having to really pay attention to what the market is saying. And it's all based on supply and demand. So our month supply, getting right into that, is this is how many months it takes for all the properties to sell if another property did not hit the market, another property didn't get built based on the current amount of buyers that we're seeing, how long would it take? What's the amount of supply for these buyers? If you look at these numbers, uh, it's very interesting that uh, you know Tarrant County was the one that had 5% appreciation and it related to the fact that it had a lower month supply. So supply and demand does affect appreciation. So these builders out here, they just built a ton of homes and now they're sitting on a lot of inventory as well. And nobody has a crystal ball and knows how many buyers are going to come into the market. We do our best to kind of give enough homes for those buyers. And sometimes if we overbuild, um, then we have a, too much inventory, right? And then you see what happens to prices. Number of homes for sale is actually up, which there's 11.3% homes more for sale than there were last year in Denton, 5.1% more in Collin, 7.7% in Tarrant, and 14.2% in Dallas. So the number of homes for sale actually went up. So we still have a lot of sellers that are wanting to make a move, 
Uh, we still have a lot of bot builders that are building and wanting to sell some new homes, and that's what that means. That inventory is still increasing, um, and the month supply is increasing. And also, the new listings are increasing. Um, <clears throat> so right here, we see that we have a plus 2.4% increase in Denton. Now, actually, this metric is interesting. That's why I have it circled, is in Collin County, the number of new listings this year actually went down 1.8%. So Colin actually made a correction based on the amount of homes out there and the buyers and they, Colin County made it a correction and really some of the sellers decided to stay put last year. Tarrant County 1.5% still an increase and 4.8% increase in Dallas. Now this is my favorite metric here because it kind of ties it all together and that's the number of closed sales. Right here we see that the number of closed sales in Denton compared uh, over the year was 6.3% more than the previous year. So there's an increase in closed sales and 6.3% in Denton, 1.8% uh, in Collin County, 1.4% in Tarrant, and 1.6% in Dallas. So well, the good news about all this is there's still a demand for people um, to buy and sell properties, and that's why this number continues to increase. What this tells me, there's an increase of people moving into the Metroplex, just not crazy amount, but there's still an influx of people moving in, and that is stimulating our housing market, creating an appreciation rate that is in the positive for us right now, and is creating um, a lot of choices for the buyers. And that's the good news. If you're a buyer, this is a great time to buy in DFW. If you're looking to move up or move down, yes, maybe you won't get you know an insane amount of money over market value like some people were getting, but you will get market value if your property is marketed correctly and it shows well. And we find the correct buyer that's willing to pay what your property is worth. Because remember, that property has to appraise. Um, we will get you max dollars for your house and make a smooth transition for you. And the good news is when we get on the other end of it, there is a lot of inventory to choose from and some very, very good choices out there. And to top it off, interest rates are very low right now. There's a lot of really good products out there, 100% products. So if you're waiting to save a million dollars before you buy a house, get with me. We have 100% programs. We have lease with the option to buy programs. And we have very low down payment programs to get you into a home. No matter what your credit score is, we can work with you and get you into the home. I am a broker at the 1-8 Real Estate Group. I've been doing this for over 16 years, and we would love, me and my team would love to help you um, really take a look at your options, consult with you, and find out if it's a good time for you to buy a house. Because I'm going to tell you, by owning a home, it's said that on average, people who own homes have a 44 times the amount of net worth of those that do not. It's just a good thing to do, guys. You've got tax write-offs. You have the appreciation where you make money, where you sleep. Then you have options of what you can do with the property, with the equity that you're building in that property. You're going to be paying some, a mortgage. You might as well pay your own instead of your landlord's. Make yourself rich and buy a house. Get with me. I'd love to help out. Hey, my name is Mark Linder with the 1-8 Real Estate Group. If you found any of this to be useful, reach out to me in the comment section below. Reach out to me. Um, here's my contact information below. I would love to sit down with you for a free consultation. Go over the purchase process from start to finish. I would also love, if you're interested in selling, for a free consultation, take a look at your home, show you what the neighbor's homes are selling for and what they look like inside, as well as give you a free, accurate consultation of what your property would bring and about how quickly we could actually put a check in your table, a check on your table for you to make a move uh, in this great 2020 year. I'm looking forward to 2020, guys. If there's anything I can do for you, reach out to me. My name is Mark Lender with the 1-8 Real Estate Group.